pretty confident that if uh, 30,000 people of color or, you know, people representing, you know, the interests of people of color, you know, Black Lives Matter, you know, whoever, had descended on the U.S. Capitol and then had made an attempt to overrun the Capitol and, you know, basically take out one of the branches of government, it would have been a massacre. Oh, absolutely. And that's why we've never ever participated in anything like that. We right, exactly. had different protests and different meetings on the mall down in that area where we've had far many more people. You can think back to when Martin Luther King gave his I Dream of, uh, I, I Have a Dream speech. You can think back to Minister Farrakhan just a decade or so ago having a million man march. Correct. We didn't have any of that. We we right. knew that that was not something we could do. This was people who, you know, they lost their moral compass for a second and for whatever reason thought this was a good idea and this was not a good idea. Insurrection is is the right word right now, but it's it's bordering on some other very heavy words. Treason, sedition, you know, for those who egg them on. Yep. Um, so do you, um, do you think maybe... Some of the people in Congress and I guess in the Senate were egging this on. Uh, do you feel as though they have um, they have blood on their hands as far as I'm concerned uh, for egging this on? So, uh, so it's like here it is. You know, the Electoral College um, ha, um, you know had certified their votes and turned them into Congress, and um, you know this is all 50 states. And so here it is. You had these people who didn't like the results. Who are trying to overturn the election in Congress, um, and like I said, they were, you know, Ted Cruz. Um, um, there's another senator, uh, was it Josh Hawley? I, I, I yes, his name is. Yeah. Um, yes. I mean, just just egging these protesters on. You know, Rudy Giuliani. Um, you know, Trump's kids. Um, they're complicit in this, and um, I think the two senators for sure, need to um, either be thrown out of Congress or, that they, you know, they need to be resigned. As far as the rest of them, um, you know, I, I think they should be brought up on charges of treason. That's just my take on it. Well, it's funny as that the, the election challenge, I think that, you know, it was their right to bring that challenge on the floor. Right. That's, there's precedent for that. I don't think anything they did there was wrong, but we've heard the rhetoric before from some of those same people. And then later on in the night, we started to hear it again. What I also started noticing is some of those same senators and, and Congress people who backed that challenge after the riot backed out of that challenge. And that's, that was, that was encouraging. Right, yeah. right. Yes. It was encouraging. It was the right thing to do because that was that aha moment. Like, wait, okay. Right. It's like, we, we well, almost got killed down here but, you know, behind this. Yes. You know, I'm all for exercising the rights of the Constitution if they're available right. to you. That's, that's why it's there. But right. to they took it a step further, and they just pretty much gaslit everybody out there. They knew that that crowd was already on a heightened already level. Already juiced of, up, Yeah. <laughs> Yes, absolutely. And to keep you know, smacking them with the same thing. How long were you expecting that particular dam to hold before, you know, water starts springing through and then the whole thing collapses? And that's what happened. collapses. Yes. Yes, indeed. Well, you know, in the upcoming days and weeks and months moving forward, I'm pretty sure a lot more is going to come out about this. Now, I'm pretty sure there are going to be all sorts of investigations um, going on, you know, beyond this, because you know, some of the reporting is you've got you've got people who served in you know police departments and fire departments all across the country who are you know actually at this riot, and so you've got the FBI investigating some of this. So, um, um, you know, we're gonna unfortunately we're gonna you know realize that you know this you know this cancer of um, Trumpism, um, it, you know, has you know, seeped into all areas of society that we never thought that it had seeped into. And, you know, we really have a you know, big problem and a big challenge moving forward, you know, moving ahead. We do. I think part of the challenge is 
we need to let people out of their homes again and get them to start communicating with other people. I think yes. part of what facilitated this whole thing is people have been trapped in their houses for a long time, left to their own devices and their own thoughts. And that's, we as people are meant to interact with other people. And that's how you get that's different true. points of view. I'm like, you bring out, you know, very, 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 very good point. Yeah, and I think that, you know, it played into this whole scenario when you're only getting any communication from, you know, the different media outlets. And we all know at this point, they're all leaned one way or the other. It doesn't matter True. which ones you're talking about. You know, that's not good for the mental health of this whole country. That's what precipitated this. You know, we're not in a normal state right now. So we have to expect things that are not normal to happen. And this is one of those things that, this was just over the top. I wasn't expecting this, but you have to look now and we have to make some changes that I think the wound has been exposed now. So now that the wound is exposed, what are we going to do to heal this wound in America? Point well taken, point well taken. Well, on that, I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm gonna wrap it up. As always, uh, a pleasure talking with you. Uh, thanks for returning. Absolutely. Thanks for having and, me uh, again. Like I said, yes. you know, we'll have to, you know, come back to this definitely as we get, you know, more information in terms of, um, in terms of, you know, charging and, you know, like everything else. So. Sure, sure. Absolutely. Anytime. <laughs> thanks for having me again. I always enjoy my time on here. Okay. Likewise. Uh, folks, until next time, 